Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm gonna showcase some more Fear Itself content and it's gonna be about Hulk and at the moment I have invested on him any CTP and before we go through that I want to show you this picture there I took for Iron Man and the Iron Man, uh, the head of Iron Man basically and yes here it is it's from a project i'm gonna do through videos and and that's a spoiler for it it's going to come inside the week it's coming i'm doing some modelism about uh, marvel characters i've started with iron man that picture was inside the first pack of his head so you're gonna see through a lot of content from marvel in general not only mff in the channel so let's go through Hulk. At the moment, his uniform, I used him. I already uploaded a video about him playing level 70 with a semi PvP build, and I was having some good results. I changed him into a level 80 and I test him for PvP, and the results was worse for some reason. I didn't have put out a really good team for him. But at the moment, I'm having these stats with him. Uh, the showcase I'm going to do is not with the same obelisk, I, I was having the same um, Urus, the same stats here, 25 gears, as you can see, Protect the Captain is one of the best for him, and this double max HP wasn't here, it was with uh, 1 HP, Guard Break Immunity and Invisibility Proc. And I'm, I'm saying you that right now because I want to mention something after I swap this one. In my opinion, I thought that he doesn't really need a CTP to work out. And I thought that only max HP gives him, you know, power to hit and increase all the hits. As you know, all of his hits doing damage through his HP. So you need to boost his HP to have some results. That's why Super Whales with Tier 4 Hulk are doing huge amount of damage. I saw people with brilliant destruction doing stage 94 of Null with time to spare and I saw people doing with a city of regeneration stage 59 of Mephisto and I'm gonna break through my account and how much uh, HP I got myself because you have to consider that you have to have these, these peers, this HP to have the same results with that kind of build. So let's go through and see all the things I test him on. I test him on ABX, on GBR, on World Boss Legend uh, Mephisto stage 55 and uh, World Boss Legend is Null stage 39 was the max and Gore stage 9 as you already see in a short video I upload. So let's go through to see what he's capable of. So at the start we're gonna start with uh, basically we're gonna start with ABX and I feel like the best leadership is Kingpins because giving him 30% HP and I think it's the only HP leadership that he's getting from uh, the characters from Combat Villain. So it's about Combat Villain uh, day with pa in Paralyzed Season and this rotation I'm using it's three delay cancel I'm letting him hit the ground with the uh, with his hammer five hit the ground with his hammer and fourth hit his uh, the ground with his hammer so there's nothing special you're you're letting the skills the third skill the fifth skill and the fourth skill place until the end the only skill that you're canceling is your sixth skill uh, as soon as possible he lands down into the ground you're cancelling it into the third skill, into the fourth skill. In between the skills, you want to use the second skill and the first skill just to fill up your tier 3 even faster. Uh, because if you if you have a Nobelisk with max HP and you don't have proc to proc on or something, you don't really care. That's the same rule for a CTP of regeneration or a mighty CTP of regeneration. It's pretty much the same with the Obelisk I am using. The double HP obelisk is performing even better than this thing you're seeing here. And I'm gonna see you the build at the end of the video. As you can see in the middle of the fight, I have managed to have like 5 million score in ABX, which is really impressive without a CTP of raids. So if you if you are missing Kingpin, if you don't have Titania, if you don't have all these characters, you know, that could come here and clear it and you already had Hulk, 
if you get his uniform go with him level 72 or level 80 and give him an hp obelisk you're gonna perform like that i mean you need my hp of course in the cards and it's not that huge 58 but still i mean he is quite impressive with actually no build i'm gonna see i'm gonna show you after this uh, abx run in the end you know what gears he had how much uh, what iso set i was using to see that it's pretty much the same and even worse obelisk for pve at least i feel like guard break immunity i had in all these runs i had guard break immunity and he really needs it sometimes that's why I feel like the Mighty Destruction is the best for him in general because it keeps the Guard Break immunity, gives him a proc and the proc for 200% uh, uh, damage against world bosses, it's really nice, no? The one you're getting, basically that's from Brilliant. From Mighty it's like 120, but still 120 damage against world bosses for a couple of seconds it's really cool you know with all this damage he is dropping here but i found myself that uh, mighty destruction is kind of hard to do because you really need to cancel all of your skills way faster than i'm doing here i was letting my skills place until the end and here i'm showing you the gears i had back there when i was using him you can see 153,000 hp and yes that's only the double hp urus and uh, the double hp uh, audience blessing really matters and look at this look at this i was doing that in abx with that build guys yeah that was true and i end up doing close to 9 million here is against dormammu I was using drugs to get more HP and America Chavez because he's giving you also HP and the good part with uh, GBR Dormammu is that you don't really need to care about all these hits you're getting as I saw you with uh, Juggernaut it was pretty much the same because you're healing but this dude here it's doing a lot of damage even if you accumulate basically you can't accumulate but uh, with uh, with Hulk, I found myself having a really easy time. Uh, Juggernaut, the test I did with Juggernaut was with the CTP of Raids, and here uh, what I was using was the same Guard Break, Immunity, HP, Invisibility, Proc, Obelisk I was using before, and I was playing against no one, I was playing alone, and the, really the point is to show you that I could tank everything you can see there i'm standing still inside everything i'm healing myself up and there is no problem uh let me show you how fast i did it and here yes it was the time that i had to be in the green thing uh it's six minutes left and i am with 20 bars left so le let's see 5 minutes, 14 bars, really easy, really easy, I mean, look at this damage I'm tanking there, here, I think I'm dying, basically, yes, I'm dying, yes, I'm dying in the run, but I kept it to show you that I could tank everything, and still, it was able to be done, and let's go through Mephisto, this is stage 55, as you can see down below, I was using the, exactly the same team up uh, with ABX, uh, yes, because it wasn't possible to use drugs or America Chavez is only um, what's called it, it's only villain uh, villain male basically yes villain male and I couldn't use uh, any other the one that I supposed to clear this it's with Iron Man but uh, I I was using Iron Man back there for Ultron stage thirty nine I think. Now I'm doing only gore to progress my Concord level. And you can see there, I can take a lot of fires and I'm still in the game. I was using, I'm using exactly the same. Okay, I missed my fourth skill there. I did it really in front of time without knowing it. And here I'm letting, you can see, I'm letting every single skill play until the end. The three, five and four. 
and the tier 6 in the only it's the only skill that I'm delaying canceling it you can see it's kind of bad run but I'm letting it in just to show you that if you have a CTP of regeneration Hulk you have a really good PvE character also. Just buying the uniform and getting him level 72, he could perform exactly the same like having him you no know, level 80 or give him anything else. As it seems, he is pretty solid. For this kind of content, you can see I'm staying alive. Really easy peasy. And yes, let me see. I took some damage there. And let's see in the end. Okay, two bars, two minutes, and in the last phase to have two minutes to spare, it's really good timing. Seems like I dig the second phase even better. Uh, okay, this fourth skill, uh, it couldn't be, I could avoid using it. I was trying to tank the purple attacks here, and I kind of did it, but I could die there if I wasn't using my tier 3 and look at this i was tanking the whole purple attack in my face okay yeah i was I, I didn't clear it i think in the end i end up losing 50 seconds to spare and i have 16 bars i could stay alive but i took some purple attacks again and again so yes i pretty much died but it's really impressive doing that timing in stage 55 uh, with a character with uh, only uh, a non-CTP character. It's really, for, you know, for free. You can have this character really, really easy if you already have him tier 3. Buying a uniform for 1000 crystals and spending like 2000 TCP and TOD for... Uh, all around her with the CTP of regeneration, he can outperform a lot of your human villains or your male villains into your roster. I'm 100% sure, and only better could be characters like Doctor Doom, perhaps. But even Doctor Doom can't do that uh, without a CTP. I mean, he's better than everyone I have in my roster, at least. Uh, perhaps not Iron Man, but my Iron Man is tier four. He's really tough, guys, with just a double HP obelisk, and he's doing miracles. I can't suggest you, you know, go for this, go for the other CTP. I mean, it's pretty much what you want to use Hulk on. If you want to use him at least a bit for PvP, CTP of regeneration seems to be the most solid option, with a mighty regen to be the number one, you know, having the all attack and all defense too. But at the moment, I'm not sure how I'm going to utilize him. And if I'm going to need him for PvE and World Boss Legend, perhaps I'm going to end up giving him a mighty destruction and take him in high stages. Here, I was kind of struggling, but uh, yeah, I didn't need to. It was my fault, playing kind of bad. I could tank these hits, to be honest. You look at this. Did less than 10% of my HP one uh, black slime there and look at this burst if i do it right i mean there is a lot of bars melting stage 39 of null right and here i was trying to s survive that's why i swap character i was you know blindly dpsing with hulk i was hulk's mass mode and yes uh, let me show you what i was able to pulling out oh yes when you're going into the last phase, the good the good part is that you don't really need to go outside of the circle. He's doing damage because you're, if you have guard break immunity, he can stay stand still there and do whatever he wants with his skills. You're taking some damage, but he can he can tank it really easy. Look at this. Um, Yes, I, I went there and stand still inside all this slime. I took some hits here and there, but still. The force skill can hit until the end because of the invisibility being there. And you can see that. I'm ready to do 5 cancel into 6. And yes, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna burst him down. Yeah. 145 seconds left and... Let me show you the build also I was using here. 
I think that I went through, yes, look at this guys, what I was using. Just this obelisk. It's insane because, you know, you have done, we have done a lot of uh, showcase in the past for level 80s and back there when I was doing the showcase and the review, I was sure what CTP I'm gonna put in the character, uh, but at the moment, this thing feels to be the best for me uh, because I'm not sure if I want to push high level stages of World Boss Legend I would go for a mighty or brilliant destruction and doing a really 3 cancel 5, 6 cancel 4 really fast to have the proc on the 4th skill somehow there is people doing it in internet free to play adventures there is more CTP of Rage, Beast Game Mode, give him a CTP of Rage and instead of CTP of Regeneration, did like a half a minute more. I mean, do you want to spend a Rage on a character to have half a minute more on World Boss Legend instead of a double HP Obelisk, which is free? I'm not sure, that's why I'm not spending a Rage at the moment and I, I have a lot guys, I have a lot. Uh, I already spent some on uh, Absorbing Man, on uh, Juggernaut, I mean it's not that I'm holding them but I feel like there is no use for him as a level 80 with the CTP of Rage. If it was tier 4 I would tell you 100% you know I'm gonna give him mighty destruction but at the moment I feel like with this build I can utilize him really nice. For Gore, I already uploaded the video. I did stage uh, 9 with 100 seconds left, with 100 seconds spent basically, and less. It was like one minute uh, with this build. So I don't really need to invest more on him at the moment, how I utilize him on the game. But if you want to go for an all out build, you know, go for a city of regeneration. If you want to stick in the world boss legend high stages, go with mighty destruction if you want to have him for multiple game modes but mostly pv go with the raids i can't i'm not sure at the moment for me what i'm going to do because i don't really know what we want to do with him if i'm going to tier for him i'm not 100 percent sure so yes i hope i help you decide go for it guys hulk totally worth it see you in the next bye bye to everyone and let me know about the new poster and the new the new project of Fireman down below in the comments and let me know what CTP are you going to equip in your hawk. Don't forget to like, subscribe and see you in the next. Hope I make you smile.